Team Australia won the gold medal at the 2000 Olympics, which was unexpected. They beat the USA in a thrilling final that ended 4-3. It was a huge upset, because the USA was the favourite to win, and Australia had never won a major international tournament before. Have you ever wondered why water polo players wear those funny caps? They are actually very important for protection. Those caps are made of sturdy materials, such as nylon, plastic, or rubber, and they help to shield the players' heads and ears from getting smashed by the ball or other players' elbows or hands. But the caps are not only for safety, they are also for identification. The goalie has to wear a red cap, so everyone can see who is guarding the goal. The same goes for the opponents. The home team usually wears white caps, while the away team uses blue or dark ones. Sometimes other colors are used, such as yellow or green. After winning a major tournament, the team often throws their coach into the water. This is a way of celebrating their achievement and showing their appreciation for their coach, who has been pushing them around during training and games. Sometimes, the team also throws other staff members or even journalists into the water as well. No mercy for anyone who is part of their success. There's something special about the women's water polo team making a circle before or after a game and hugs each other. The same goes for men, but for some reason, it's sweeter with girls. It might look dangerous to wear earrings like that, but it's okay, the cap will protect her. You might think water polo is a boring and uninteresting sport. Well, I don't blame you, but it's actually a very intense, dynamic, and challenging sport that requires high levels of mental and physical skills and strategy. Try watching a water polo match, 